using the ultrasonic cleaner. Here we have the Midmark series of ultrasonic cleaners. Before operating, what you first want to do is check that your solution levels are appropriate. In order to do that, we're going to remove the tray from the cleaner, rest it to the side, and on the inside of the reservoir, you will see a line that reads operating level, and it'll give you an idea as to how high the solution needs to be. If you do need to fill or replace the solution, um, what you need to do is use a diluted Gazyme product. We have Gazyme 3 and it's diluted in a 10 ml to 4 liter of water solution. You can add your water and add your gazyme in here. Shake it up. Pour it into the reservoir. And after you've added more solution or you've changed the solution, what you've also done is created air bubbles in the solution itself, and they're going to impede the cleaning action of the ultrasonic waves. So what you're going to want to do is turn your cycle on for about five minutes so that you run a degassing cycle. And by degassing, what's happening is the sound waves are going to attack the bubbles, explode them so that the solution will be static solution. And then the sound waves will have no interference when they're trying to reach the debris inside the instruments. After your five minutes of degassing are up, what you want to do is you want to lay your instruments inside your tray. You want to make sure your instruments are going to be open so that the striations are exposed. If you have sharp instruments like backhouse towel clamps or scissors, please leave those closed for our safety reasons. You're going to layer them inside your tray and you're going to slowly lower your tray back into the reservoir of the ultrasonic cleaner. You can replace the lid. And for a cleaning cycle of average instrument load, you want about 10 minutes. When you take your instruments out of the ultrasonic cleaner, if they are still dirty, you can return them back into the cleaner for another five minutes. Um, you might also want to check the cleanliness of your solution because a dirty solution is not going to do you any good. If you do have to clean the ultrasonic cleaner and you want to empty the solution entirely, what you should do is remove the tray, there will be a hose, you're going to attach it to the spigot on the side of the machine and this machine is on the right hand side of the machine and what you want to do is make sure the end of your hose is going to be in your bucket and then you can turn the knob. So righty tighty lefty loosey. You want to turn it left so that it opens and the solution will drain out of the spigot and into the bucket. 